hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> So like when I was playing, if I was going to the football game or cricket game, like playing school, you could almost hear the other team. Oh, that's Barry Hanson, you know. And so much so that when I boxed, I had a couple of fights at Billericay Amateur Boxing Club. My dad actually changed my name without me knowing, so that I wouldn't get pasted. What did he change it to? He Hills. <laughs> so when I had my first fight at a gym show in Dagenham, they introduced me in the blue corner from Billericay. Eddie Hills. I was like, <laughs> but I didn't think anything of it. It's only when I had my next fight, which was at Billericay, they introduced me again as Hills. And I went over to my old man after, I said, they keep calling me fucking Hills. He went, son, if they knew you were my son, you'd get an absolute pasty. Yeah. You no, know, because that, to those kids, that's that's why I wouldn't have, you know, one, I didn't have the ability, but two, I could have never made it as a fighter. <laughs> You know what time it is, don't you? Weapon of the Week, episode 26. Weapon of the Week! <laughs> and this week's weapon is... <laughs> Dave Allen. The White Rhino. I won't gonna pick Dave because people say, oh, Porky, you picking people, you know. Well, Dave's knocked the Martin Bacoli fight back in a pandemic on a pay per view slot. Knocked it back. Now, let me let me get with program here a little bit. Back up, back up a bit, right. Dave Allen's offered mega money to fight Dubois, yeah? We know that, don't we? And he asked for more. And Frank Warren went, no. So he missed out on that. Since then, what has he done? He's fought Dorian Darch in a fight that's... Well, we're not even going to go there, are we? We'll not even go there with what happened with that fight. But since then he's knocked Yui Fury fight back, then said he'll have it, then Yui's offered him 25 grand out of his purse just so Yui could get out and fight. And he's knocked that back. And now he's knocked the Bacoli fight back because Cousman's not going to be fighting on August 22nd on Dillian White undercard. Craziness! I mean, wh where, where's Dave heading now? I mean... There's only one place, isn't there, really, where he's heading. And that's Skid Row. He's heading for Skid Row, but he can't see it. I don't know what he's got in his head, but... Boxing's about prize fighting and getting a prize and getting a few quid. And beggars can't be choosers at this stage of the game. I know I dig certain people out for saying, Yes, please, Eddie! And I can understand that David maybe thinks... Because he took fights for short end of money back in the day with uh, Eduardo or John Hearn. Dave probably feels that he's entitled to more. But we're in the middle of a pandemic, Dave. And there's a recession coming. And you, 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 you're, losing, you're losing your grip, mate. Get on the phone and tell him you'll take the fight. What are you playing at, man? I can't believe it, but it is what it is, isn't it? Well, it is what it isn't, but... Dave Allen, Weapon of the Week. With your weaponry belt on. It's weapon behaviour. That's the third fight you've knocked back. I mean, pff, God, you're going to end up... You're going to end up being the John Fury of boxing soon if you don't have a fight. Dave, come on. Get with programme. Get MTK rung up. And tell them you'll punch holes in Martin Bacoli. And shut Billy Nelson up once and for all. So, I'm, so I've got this thing in my head thinking, why is Dave Allen knocking fights back? The white rhino. 
from the rhino sanctuary why, why is he knocking them back who's in his ear who is in his ear hole I don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on is it because he's sparred the bar he's sparred Yui and he's sparred Bacoli and he's fought I don't fancy it I don't fancy another loss on my record I don't know is he going to go back to basics is he going to go back to the beginning and fight somebody on his level like Tom Little or Cash Alley and then build up to a Martin Bacoli fight. I don't know. But who cares? So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. David. Don't have nightmares about Billy Nelson and Bacoli. Alright. Just do the rhino charge like you've been doing. Bombing forward. Taking shots. That's what you do. But knocking a third fight back on TV. Craziness. So. Alright. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.